It is Sunday, April 18th, and it is 8.15 a.m., and I am getting back on trail. So, last night was pretty chill. It didn't get as cold as the night before, um, but it got pretty chilly. Um, but I slept really good, um, and then I woke up this morning, got ready, and then um, Steve, the, the guy who was staying at that... Um, maintenance hut he's a retired firefighter me and him had a nice little chat this morning super super nice guy cool um it's funny he's like yeah i've never seen anyone out here before anytime i've come here and he wasn't even sure how far the at was up i'm like oh it's just point one up there so he's like oh i think i'll take a little hike today so that was cool he's a super nice guy man he gave me a few little food items so i'm hoping these byways are open because I have food for today and a dinner for tonight. Then he gave me some corn chowder, but it's not really a meal. Um, and then tomorrow I have enough snacks for tomorrow. But if I can't get to a byway or something to get more food, I'm probably going to have to get off. But I'll be really close to Luray, which I plan to get off anyways. And tomorrow I'll have four videos. So it'll probably be a good time to get off. But if I do past um one of those byways i'm probably just gonna stay out one more day and then i'm gonna get off going to luray and i'll have four or five videos to upload which will be a lot upload those and then get back on and then i'll get off again in front royal and have like two or three videos and so yeah man i'll um hopefully i'll be getting a lot of videos out because i feel good and i don't know what happened man all of a sudden i just feel good again like I'm not even going to say the funk went away. It's just not here right now. <laughs> that's awesome. And that's that's enough for me right now. Yeah, so I am going to um, stay in the moment and hike northbound. And wherever I get to, I get to. And I will get back with y'all. All right. <laughs> So I am at Ivy Creek Overlook. Man, it's beautiful. 
So I lined this camera just right with the tree shadow so the sun's not glaring through there. Um, man, the birds are going off today. I, it's, I don't know if it's the Shenandoahs or what, but since I've gotten on the last three days, it just, spring seems like it's just blowing up. Like you can feel, you can feel the life in the air, you know? And man, from last year when I was here to this year, it's, I mean, it's night and day. It's amazing. I think my soul likes that um, energy in the air when everything's coming to life. And I think when everything's kind of dying and going away, I get really relaxed and calm because I love fall. But then when everything's pretty much dead and bleak, um, I struggle a little bit. <laughs> That's why I would never move to Maine or anywhere north of Tennessee for sure. Um but man, that's another thing. This morning, 6 o'clock, bird chirping alarm. I could hear the birds chirping. And some people, it annoys them. To me, I love it, man. So I woke up and just was like, smiled and went back to sleep. Because it, it doesn't keep me up. Um, but man, there's nothing like it. And then it's amazing. And then you'll be like, oh, it's so nice and beautiful. And then a car... We'll drive by, like right now. Oh, well. You know what? And I haven't seen anyone yet, and it's a Sunday, so I don't know, man. <sighs> Beautiful day. That's all I can say. All right. I will get back with y'all. Hey y'all, so man, it started off really sunny and warm today, and it's noon right now, and it is getting overcast, and it keeps getting chillier and chillier as the day goes on, and there's a nice little rain cloud above me, I wouldn't even be surprised if it rains, man, and it's pretty chilly too, I sent my rain pants home, so <laughs> man, I hope it doesn't rain, there's only like... 25% chance today and it was for tonight not today so but I'm not gonna lie it's been getting more and more overcast like it was sparse but the more and more the day goes on the more and more it looks overcast so maybe when I get on the top of that mountain I'll check the weather um so I met these three gentlemen 
through hike. They're, they said they're doing a 130 mile section. Super nice guys. We were sitting there talking for a while, and then um, they're like, "Oh yeah, we're from Melbourne, Florida." And I'm like, "What?" I go, "I grew up in Cocoa Beach," and they're like, "So you know, it's a small world." And then so we're talking, um, and they're like, "Oh yeah," our and I told them that I had moved to Atlanta and lived there for ten years. And they're like, "Oh, our buddy who's coming up, he's from Atlanta." And I turn and look, and the guy's hiking. So we talk about Atlanta for a little bit. So yeah, man kind of weird how that works but i always meet people well i always meet a lot of people from florida um up here because it's like so exotic up here when you grow up in florida and you come to the mountains it's just like so exotic i've gotten a little bit used to it now so it's normal to me but when i first got up in the mountains i was like wow it's amazing yeah well so Let's just hope it doesn't rain, and I am going to keep on hiking northbound, and I will get back with y'all. All right. Hey y'all, so I am at High Top Hut. So when I got here, there was a couple here. I had to use the privy and then I came back down and chatting with them for a little while. They're just doing like a 50 mile section hike, but super, super nice couple. Enjoyed, we had a really nice conversation. Man, I've been having really, really nice conversations with people um, the last few days, but especially today. Um, so this is... What's that? What's that? High Top Hut. High Top Hut. Let's do a tour and review and a rating. All right. First thing we see, of course, is this picnic table. Now, this is a nice picnic table. Very, very, it's very level, not too weathered. A few little burn marks and stuff from pots cooking. Seats not splintered at all. Metal frame. Very nice. Very nice picnic table. And here's what I really like about it. Look at that. It's right next to this pit with a little um, brick wall to radiate the heat back to the picnic table and the shelter. So because of that um, little fire pit right there. And it's a nice picnic table. I'm going to give this a solid eight. For sure, the picnic table. And that's so nice, man. You can tell some people have been having fires in there. So, right here, bear box. Right up there is the privy. I went into the privy. Privy is amazing, super clean, 
didn't smell bad. There's wood chips in it. I'm going to give that Privia eight and a half for sure. So let's look at this shelter. Okay, I like it. It's uh, kind of like a log cabin, but with the, um, the squared logs, not the rounded ones. And um, really, really nice sign. And let's see. Oh, it's a double decker. Very nice. So you could fit five would be not too bad. Pretty comfortable. Four would be very doable. Three would be luxury living. Two would be awesome. Unless the person's weird. One, amazing. But, so you can also, and that's just on the bottom. So on the top. I mean, you could fit another five people on top. Not too bad. It'd be the same. Four would be a little bit better. Three, two, one. Um, maxed out. Fourteen maxed out and not fun, um, but man, nice shelter. Um, let's look up in here. Yeah, so let me see. Man, that is nice. I'm actually I might give this shelter an eight, a solid eight. You know what? It looks like it may leak though a little bit. I don't know if y'all notice this like tape and stuff up in here. Ooh, it looks like it may leak. So if it leaks, I mean, it does look like it may leak actually. So that might take it down. I'm not really sure. Hmm, someone put Luco tape up there too. <laughs> oh, well, I'm still going to give it, a, what'd I say, eight? Eight? Yeah, eight. Um, hoping it doesn't leak. Yep. High top hut. Very nice. So, I think I am going to just go another three something miles. Get some water. It's pretty early, but I'm going to stop early. Um, yeah. And I'm going to camp at this spot that I camped at in 2016. I'm pretty sure it's the same spot. Um, and yeah, and just stop early there. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get back on trail and probably take my time because um, I think it's only like 3 o'clock and it's 3 miles, 3.5, 3.4. And it has been raining a little bit. It's hard to tell if it's going to or not. Oh, well. Well, I will get back with you all. All right.
right, y'all. This is my home for the night. And I am in a serious, serious stealth spot, as you can see. But can you hear can you hear the traffic? So the Blue Ridge Parkway, I actually I did see oh yeah. I can I, I doubt y'all can see it, but I can see it right there. There goes a car. Yeah, I'm super close to the parkway. The crazy thing about this place, I stealth camped here in 2016. I was like bugging out and it was late and I was looking for a spot. And so I passed that um, high top hut that the, the shelter that I reviewed and I kept going down and down. I got the water down there and I kept looking for a spot and I couldn't find one. I was like, oh man, how far am I going to have to hike? Because I would do that all the time in 2016. And it's funny because I would end up doing like an extra five miles some days, man. Um, but that was back in the days when I was through hiker, man. I doing the 2025s every day. But yeah, so I ended up, so I can't, I found this little side trail in 2016, followed it up here. And there were these spots, as you can see, but it was way, it looked way more established back then. The worst part about this prop, this place though, is man, look at all the branches. There's branches everywhere, and there was a big branch right across where my tent is. So I looked up, and it doesn't look like any of those branches would fall on me. And if they did, they wouldn't hurt me. They'd just rip my tent. So I'm just going to chance it. Man, the other day, I, I camped underneath this broken... And if that thing fell on me, it would have hurt me. This broken treetop that was wedged and just hanging there, but... I knew that thing's probably going to be there forever, man. So, yeah, um, what is it? It's it's pretty late. It's almost five. Um, and what did I do? I think 15 and a half. That's all I did today. But I took my time, and I had two, two decent climbs today. Um, probably the hardest climbs in the shanties, I think. Not really sure. Yeah, so I am going to um, just edit and cook. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. So I am almost out of food. And the the camp store and the wayside coming up are both closed. So I am definitely going to have to get off tomorrow. Um, I, I talked to Wildcard, so he's he, it's up in the air, but it looks like he may come and get me tomorrow and we'll hang out. Um, and But the biggest, another thing is tomorrow I'll have four videos. I'll have three ready to upload, and then one I still have to edit and then upload, and then do all the thumbnails and all that other stuff. And yeah, so um, I think it's probably a good idea to get off anyways. I don't like to get more than four videos, five at the most. If I after five, I get off no matter what. Yeah, so um, yeah, I'm going to just, ooh, the sun's coming back out a little bit. It's been coming out, and then it's been raining off and on, so it's been a weird, weathery, moody day. But anyways, I keep jabbering. I'm going to just, um, I think I'm going to go sit on those rocks over there and edit and cook, and I will get back with you all before the end of the night. All right.
So, I'm going to end the video for today. Yeah, today was definitely, it was a good day. The weather was weird. It's um, pretty chilly out. Um, I got my tent. So, um, and so there was a huge group. Um, they look like through hikers. They look young. And um, they came tromping through. And they camped just a little bit down from me. Um, so, but they're pretty quiet. I hear them every now and then. But for the most part, they're pretty quiet. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, so I'm going to have to try to figure out how to get, um, off tomorrow. I think Wildcard, he just texted me. He said he is going to pick me up tomorrow. Um, so that's good. Um, so I'll be able to go into town and upload those videos. So y'all have something to watch. And, um, yeah, and then hopefully I can get him to drive me back too. If not, I can arrange a, um, shuttle, I'm sure. But that'll help out a lot. Um, yeah, so I guess I will just talk to y'all in the morning. All right.